He and his wife and grandson first heard that howl when they were walking back to their car at the end of the trail along the Vermilion River, about 45 minutes from the town of Sioux Lookout. Initially, Mikas thought it was a moose or a bear, but the experienced hunter quickly realized that it was a sound he's not familiar with. Mikas posted two videos on YouTube uh, where they have since gone viral, racking up two million views. Bigfoot, Sasquatch, a wolf, Mikas says we may never know. People living in and around Polk County saw something unusual in the sky as the sun was setting today. Investigating a mysterious fireball seen in the evening sky Thursday. Take a look at that. These pictures taken by a Polk County Sheriff's deputy near the city of Salem. Today, Sheriff's Office and scientists trying to figure out what, what, what it was exactly. And look at this here. This happened in Polk County near Salem yesterday. The Sheriff's Office investigating early reports say it may have been a plane crash, but uh, authorities say they checked all available aviation tracking system. There's no plane out there. A photo showing what appears to be a fireball falling from the sky is sparking a lot of conversation. That photo was taken right here. And today, what it was is still a mystery. Just happened to be in the right spot at the right time, I guess. Richard Romano was working on his tractor when he went to check the mail and he noticed a small plane in the sky. I heard a boom and I looked up and same direction the plane was flying, big fireball fell out of the sky. I go, oh, shoot. Life flight went out to look Thursday night, nothing. Honestly, we can't even put a location on it. The reason we're so involved in this is because someone in our county reported it. We have a photo of it and we have a direction. Uh, we can't even specifically say that's anywhere within our county. But they can say this. You know, we can comfortably say that this is not a plane. Authorities used uh, aviation tracking so that, systems and worked with the FAA and Air Force. Uh, and also Their information the doesn't show any meteor. lost planes. Uh, the interesting thing is, is the aviation folks are saying it's a meteor. The meteor folks are saying that it's a it's a contrail. So they're they're kind of that's kind of being the contradicting information. Friday, Civil Air Patrol flew a training mission in that general direction. We have found nothing. Same goes for the Forest Service. No fires. I hope it wasn't an airplane. I hope it was a something. I know it wasn't a meteor. I've seen too many of those. But what it was is up for debate. We know it is not a plane. So we went to talk to Jim Todd, the space science director at OMSI. So my immediate reaction was that it was a fireball. But after taking a closer look and hearing the initial report. It should have been seen as far away as Seattle, Portland, Coos Bay, anybody that had clear skies should have been able to see it because it was 60 miles up. We didn't get any of that. All we still have is just that one image. This is so interesting. I know a lot of buzz on social media about this because it is kind of a bizarre sight to see. Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, I've never seen that in the sky. So. Right. Others thought it uh, might be part of a meteor shower Whoa. that uh, peaked last night, but uh, the truth is out there. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. Well, just a day after the harvest moon, it seems we have an interstellar visitor in our midst. Scientists at NASA believe a newly discovered comet originated from outside of our solar system. That comet first detected on August 30th by scientists at the Margo Observatory in Crimea. Although the official confirmation that the comet is interstellar has not yet been made, it's got astronomers over the moon because it would be only the second object detected as such. The first was observed and confirmed back in October of 2017. The mysterious visitor is bound for the sun. A mysterious comet is causing a meteor storm this week. You can watch the Alpha Mensertoid meteor shower either November 21st or the 22nd, depending on where you live. On the East Coast, it starts at 11.50 p.m. Thursday night. The peak of the shower will only last about 15 minutes, but the whole thing lasts 40 minutes. The shower happens every year around this time, but the reason this year is so special is because of the large outburst expected Thursday night. All right, the sky near St. Louis lit up last night with what looked like a meteor. Hundreds of people say they saw it across a hundred miles. This bright blue light was followed by a falling object. Many say they also heard a boom. 
The video see you, you see here is from a home security camera. If it was a meteor, scientists may not be surprised. The northern Torrid's meteor shower was expected to be at its peak last night. Let's just say it was very unusual, whatever it was. It's, it's pretty stunning. awe-inspiring light show. Isn't it amazing? I have watched it so many times. The free display was all thanks to a rock burning up through the Earth's and atmosphere. Booms. It is this bright light show that has people buzzing all around our area tonight. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Courtney Bryant. I'm Steve Savard. Right now we are still working to get more information on what exactly the fireball was. When the ground underneath your feet starts to tremble and the night sky turns bright blue. It was like um like really hard thunder, the house was shaking, but also it sounded like a train. A fireball so powerful, the mayor of Winfield says he felt it too. And heard a loud explosion, what it sounded like an explosion outside our, our window. And as the meteor beamed just behind the gateway arch, there was only one way to describe it. I thought it was amazing. Looking back at the arch and you saw the light across the sky, it seemed like that meteor was traveling right over St. Louis, but it turns out it was a much bigger event than that. There were reported sightings of the fireball in eight states. Many people are telling us they felt and heard a boom. Huge boom is what sparked a flood of 911 calls in Cabarrus County. There was just a huge boom and my whole backyard lit up. It was around midnight when neighbors like Mary Laws heard that loud explosion so loud she thought the worst. I didn't see anything, just heard the loud explosion sound. There's a funny sound and then that explosion sound. And uh, then we started hearing sirens and I really felt like the tree was laying on top of my house, but it wasn't. Neighbors all over Concord and Kannapolis heard the same thing. Many of them in the villas of Weinkauf and Havenbrook neighborhoods. Some called 911 saying they also saw a bright light in the sky. There was just a huge boom and my whole backyard lit up, like huge. Well, Alexandra, residents have been coming up with all kinds of theories on their own as to what's causing the mysterious booms. The Fremont police chief calls this unusual for the repeated booms to happen this time of year, and he wants help to solve what officers call criminal activity. Mysterious flash of light and loud boom like this one are leaving Fremont residents on edge. I heard like a really loud rolling kind of vibration underneath my feet and then a boom, like an explosion. The chief of police, who has also heard the booms, hopes to bring peace and quiet back to his town. If you talk to anyone around town, have you heard those booms? Everyone's going to say, yeah, I heard those. We're not sure where they're coming from. Police have responded to five boom calls since last week, but a special Fremont Facebook page shows around 100 comments from people who say they've heard the big bangs in different areas of town. mystery surrounding loud booms or blasts on the Wake Franklin County line has not stopped. No, it has not. So CBS 17 still digging deeper to see if we can uncover what these sounds actually are. Our Beer Shell Ed May back in the neighborhood with what else we have learned this morning. And Beer Shell, you've been out there a few hours now. Have you heard it? I haven't heard it yet. I've been here for two hours, but you know what? In the last few weeks, the neighbors have said it's been off and on, but it's enough where they came to CBS 17 to help pinpoint what is that noise that's happening in this neighborhood, the Barham uh, subdivision here on the Wake Franklin County line. So I do want to show you a bit of the neighborhood, both in the late hours and the morning hours. That's when they're saying they're hearing this loud boom and neighbors have said, you know what? It's not gunshots that they're hearing. They're familiar with hearing that maybe when there's a hunting activity per se. So they 
they've asked us, you know, can you find out what's going on here? We went to several agencies. We went to DPS, or rather DOT, and they said it's not them. They're not doing any construction work. We did go to Duke Energy. They told us they're not responsible. Even reached out to military bases like Seymour Johnson Air Force Base just to see if it's maybe in their flight path in some work that they're doing. It's not them either. So we did go to the National Weather Service because one neighbor suggested maybe it's just thunderstorms that we're hearing. But the meteorologists there, the experts say there haven't been thunderstorms recently. So Mother Nature can't be blamed for this either. So at this point, we are going to keep asking questions of local agencies until we can pinpoint what that sound is, what's causing the shaking of these homes when we find it.